Um, well, on Monday, Queensland was rocked by a horror shooting when four officers were ambushed while conducting a welfare check. The shooting saw two police officers killed in the line of duty, but thankfully the other two officers were able to escape. One of the officers, Constable Randall Kirk, has had surgery to remove shrapnel after being shot in the leg and posted this picture from his hospital bed. Constable Keely Broff also survived the ambush, which occurred just nine weeks after she joined the police force. Joining me now is Daryl Green. Daryl Green is a former Queensland police officer whose life changed forever in 2000 when he was shot in the face while in the line of duty. Daryl now uses his harrowing experience to help others through his initiative, which is called Twice Shot. Daryl joins me now. Daryl, great to see you. Um, the escape of these two police officers has been described as a miracle. And you, know, you yourself personally know the impact of a tragedy like this, what are those first few days like after experiencing something so horrific? From my personal experience, I would say that the first two months was literally just stunned and that's how we'd describe it. And what, uh, what, would you, what were your thoughts when you saw this story, when you saw what happened uh, in Queensland? What was your immediate thoughts and what advice would you give to the su survivors? I, I'm, in, I'm in Thailand currently uh, right now, northeast Thailand, uh, Isan, visiting a, a, a friend retired here. I got news from my friend, the sergeant, who was injured in the same shooting. And we said, this looks grim, woke up to the full details of the two deceased officers, the uh, injured officer, the traumatised officer, and then many other officers involved, including a tactical team. Of a, no police officer wants to go in and take somebody's life, but they went in and did their what they do, what they're trained trained to do, and uh, eliminated the, the 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 threat. And I just felt sick in the stomach, uh, absolutely gutted, and because what immediately went through my mind is, oh my god. So many people are now going to go on a very similar journey to what I've been on and my partner and sergeant who was shot 22 years ago. We had a, a miracle, as you say, because um, the person had 10 around uh, magazine in the rifle, this outside a police car, shot me in the face, shot me in the shoulder. I've gone over, shot the sergeant twice, shot my partner down his side six times. It was not, not a vital organ. You talk about miracles, I, we all lived and unfortunately they were ambushed. We have two Queensland fires who are now uh, deceased and it's going to be a very long journey for those. those uh... I think we've just lost, I think I, we've just lost. Have you got you there, Daryl? Sorry. Um, I'll just, uh, Daryl, yeah. if I've still got you. Um, just quickly, because we've yes. got a poor connection there, but where is your, is there any anger directed at the police force and do the community do enough to support you in the years after to reward and support your bravery? I had professional help. Uh, the community is very good. I had some excellent bosses like Dave Stevenson. The best people I found were ones who'd been through similar experiences. And it might've been a child with mental health. It might've been a divorce. Other people who had sort of easier lives thought, well, that was 20 years ago. You know, what's 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 wrong with you? You're living in the past. And I still have medical checkups for the reconstruction of my face every three months. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's helping those people and they'll never be the same and continuing to support them and asking them and checking in on them uh, and thanking them. Well, Daryl, on behalf of all Australians, let me just say thank you to you for your bravery and for your service. Um, and I hope the community recognises that on an ongoing basis. And I would also say you have a website, twiceshot.com, www.twiceshot, one word, dot com. So obviously, uh, people should reach out to that, as well as all our thoughts are with the victims of the dreadful shooting in Queensland. Daryl, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Truly heroic.